okay hold up before we even get into the video i filmed this makeup look but i did a different lip combo for it but this lip combo right now is slapping like oh my god the shine but anyways other than that is anybody still checking for the semi-annual sale right now hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys, my items that I ordered before the semi-annual sale and during the semi-annual sale have arrived. So I wanted to complete my haul and show you guys everything. I showed you guys some of the items that I purchased before the semi-annual sale started, which included the faceted luxuries collection and things like that. So I did get the rest of my order online. So I wanted to show you guys the rest of that order. And then the things that weren't in my store during my buy online pickup in store order for SAS have arrived in the mail. So I also wanted to show you guys that it's not going to be anything too interesting because if i'm being real i kind of already talked about some of these products but i wanted to show you guys the rest of my haul because i just wanted to make a haul but yeah i really do want to know is anybody still checking for sas because i feel like it was the majority of people felt like it was a dub like it wasn't it like it was a no-go nothing really exciting nothing too fun so yeah just let me know how you guys feel so i'm gonna go ahead and get started so basically the things that arrived like i said were the items that i wasn't able to order online when i did buy online pick up in store so these are items that i've already talked about in my previous haul but i did finally get my wow madagascar vanilla fine fragrance mist and if y'all can see it's been used okay so the scent notes for this one is wild madagascar accord african pear and wild jasmine from all of my years of smelling this fragrance and seeing it when it would come back during semi-annual sales like years ago i never really wanted to pick this up because again like i told y'all i was just on my gourmand vanilla kick if i wanted something that was vanilla i wanted it to be gourmand vanilla ice cream vanilla sweet creamy vanilla like just super super edible and so whenever i would smell this i would always get disappointed and be like yeah i don't want this because the name is wild madagascar vanilla but it doesn't smell like vanilla at least not an edible vanilla vanilla pod vanilla extract it doesn't smell like that so this is definitely a perfumey grown-up type of vanilla and i almost don't even want to classify it as a full-on vanilla because it's not so that african pear and the wild jasmine is definitely what you can smell in this i feel like it's a very perfumey somewhat slightly fruity type of scent it's not like heavily fruity like fruit juice or anything like that but i feel like you can definitely smell that crispness crispness of the pear along with like an airy floral jasmine note it's a perfumey type of scent and then the vanilla is there but just like i said it's a vanilla accord this is more of like just a vanilla softness that they added to the fragrance to give it a softness like that's literally all it is and i do enjoy the fragrance this is not something that i would write off just as like you know i don't like it it is what it is because i have expanded my palette of vanillas so i have all the gourmand vanillas in my collection that i could want i have things that are very very sweet and edible and nice and then i also have some perfumey vanillas as well and i've come to appreciate them now that i've built up my gourmand collection so this is actually a fine fragrance mist that i really enjoy something that i thoroughly enjoy and that i feel like i could potentially mix with my more gourmand vanillas as well as my perfumey vanillas which is a good thing so a simple and easy to think of combination that I have done with Wild Madagascar Vanilla already is Vanilla Potion because that was one of the vanillas that I thought about that I felt like aired on both sides. It's a perfumey vanilla, but it's also a very, very nice sweet vanilla because when it dries down, it smells like super edible sweet vanilla and that's the compliment that I get with that perfume. But if you look at the scent notes, it's not just a super simple vanilla extract type of vanilla. It has some citrus in there in the beginning as well. It's an airy like aromatic type of vanilla so that is one of the combinations that i did um another combination that i did with this one that was actually suggested by a subscriber was to pair it with my paradiso my gemma di paradiso which is also like a pear woody vanilla combo and it was perfect like it was absolutely perfect with this fragrance i feel like you don't have to go too out of the box if you don't want to because you can keep it in that aromatic perfumey vanilla realm and you just smell like you literally just smell good it's not complicated it's not overly done it's not overly perfumey it's not overly aromatic it's just really really nice you would just smell like good soft and feminine and pretty and good you would just smell nice so 
I am actually really, really happy to have Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And y'all can see I have been using it because we're like down to here on the Fine Fragrance Mist already. And I did enjoy it the times that I wore it. And along with that, I did get two of the shower gels because I am on a shower gel kick. I go through my shower gels so fast and then I always have to pair all of my stuff with like generic body washes and stuff like that because my shower gels be gone. So I did get two of those and then I also got the body lotion and y'all know in my uh, previous video I had the body cream. So I'm actually happy to have this even if I were to run out of the fine fragrance mist um, with using the body cream, I would still be able to get the effects of this scent and layer with this scent using the body lotion. So I would be really, really happy with just those products for um, Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And then the next thing I got was my Tahiti Island Dream body lotion. And I can't remember, I think I had only had the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist in my first order. So I now have the lotion to pair with that. And I really do enjoy this one. Fresh coconut water, sparkling mandarin, kiwi blossom, lush range of panty, Tahitian vanilla musk. This is literally like vacation bay vibes in a bottle. It smells super, super good. It doesn't smell like any one particular thing. I feel like I definitely can smell the coconut water, the citruses, a little bit of the florals. It's like literally all encompassing of a super, super tropical fragrance. Okay, now we're going to move on to my next box that only has four fine rigorousness in it. Did I mention to y'all I fucking love my makeup today? Like, I am. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so obsessed. Don't worry. Tutorial coming soon if you also love it. It's coming. Okay, so I did, not that one, I did get a backup of Pink Obsessed because if you guys saw my last favorites video, my Pink Obsessed is like halfway gone. So I did get another one of these. I love it, love it, love it so much. Dupe of Valentino Donna Born in Roma, but like I've said before, I feel like in the Fine Fragrance Mist, this is a little bit lighter and I smell more of the jasmine in this one. So it's not a super heavy, heavy bourbon vanilla like the original Donna Born in Roma, even though this is still good. And I love, 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 love that vanilla bourbon note in Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I feel like this one is just a little bit lighter. So I feel like I can wear this one in the heat a little bit more than my original Donna Born in Roma, but y'all know me. I put that perfume on whenever, wherever, don't care. But this one is just a little bit lighter. So I enjoy it a lot. And then um, I got, this is Floral Fantasy. And this one is the dupe for Flower Bomb. Absolutely love it. Like, so good. This one is Peach, Osmanthus, Jasmine, and Warm Patchouli. It definitely smells like Flower Bomb to me. This is definitely a super, super feminine, florally, somewhat powdery, like velvety powder fragrance super super pretty super i would feel super super confident wearing this like this also gives me wedding vibes like if you were getting married during the spring summer season this almost gives me like wedding vibes it is just so pretty it just smells like a super super pretty feminine fragrance there's no other way to put this like this gives off uber femininity vibes absolutely love it so yeah definitely definitely a good one happy that i picked that one up and i did do a layering combination with that one already check my community tab if you want to see that layering combo okay and then i also got petal parade now this one i haven't actually worn this one is neroli petals orange flower and white woods now i'm gonna be honest with y'all just like i said in my original video when i did the luxuries collection i didn't watch videos on these so i really don't be having an idea of what they are supposed to be dupes for is like if some of them popped up on my timeline or my for you page and i saw people had like the dupes in their thumbnails for them that's kind of how i associated them but i have no idea actually what pedal parade is supposed to be a dupe of i have no idea but this is along the same lines of floral fantasy i feel like this is a really really nice pretty feminine floral scent but this one is way heavier this one can definitely give a headache like this one isn't soft and subtle at all like this one is like petals raining down on you heavy perfumey like imagine flower petals that were dipped in actual like perfume nondescript just perfume just an aromatic perfume they were dipped in perfume or soaked i should say soaked in perfume and then they were sprinkled like all over you that is what you get from this one this one is a little bit heady this one is a little bit heavy I'm not gonna lie to y'all this one is a heavy heavy perfumey fragrance this is one that i feel like the time you wear this one is like date nights 
or like going out with the girls concerts and things like that that's the time i feel like you would wear this one because it is heavy but i do really enjoy that one i think it actually smells really really nice nothing wrong with having a lot of like really really nice feminine perfumey fragrances in the collection and then the last fine fragrance mist that i want to show you guys this one is rio pineapple mango so i had to get this one because it was an online exclusive and i love me some pineapple mango i've had it a lot in like the candle and wallflower form so this one is fresh pineapple juice mango and vine ripened raspberry those are the exact notes that it's had in the past and like the candle and the wildfire form and let me tell y'all this is amazing this smells so good now this this is the perfect balance of something super fruity and juicy and sweet and then a slight hint of perfuminess this is perfection like this is like fruit punch body care like fruit punch perfume so it's fruity juicy like i said like really really fruit juice heavy but make it perfume make it into a perfume version i feel like it has the perfect amount a perfect balance of that like this is something that i would definitely want to wear on my body i don't just smell like fruit punch and fruit juice this is something that i want to wear and i think it's the vine ripened raspberry because it kind of reminds me of the raspberry that is in sun ripened raspberry which is also pretty perfumey even though it's like super super sweet and candy like i love this okay this is so good if you guys haven't bought pineapple mango this is amazing okay you definitely can smell the pineapple the mango super super nectary and just like syrupy and good and then like i said that raspberry i feel like comes in there and adds like that sprinkle of perfuminess this is so good really really enjoy that one and i actually really like the packaging on here as well so that is it you guys that is my haul those are the things that that i got online during sas and then the sale before sas that i wanted to show you guys and i'm done okay i'm done i ain't buying the only thing that i might go back for is wallflowers i know they just had a sale on wallflowers and i didn't feel like going to the store so i don't know when the next time i'm going to pick up some wallflowers but that's that's probably about it that's all i need i don't need any more hand soaps i don't need any more body care I don't need any more anything i just got my son some stuff so yeah i'm for sure done until fall comes out so that's it you guys that was my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know that you enjoyed it if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace